I think the, 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 the context has to be the, the government makes the policy decision in its integrated resource plan that uh, there will be renewables in the, in the energy mix. Uh, that is a background. The IPPs are cost neutral to ESCO. Uh, and they are paid in advance. They are cost neutral to ESCOM and we are paid in advance. So if we underspend on the IPPs, we have to pay back the money to, through the RCA. Indeed, if we overspend, they have to give us the money in terms of the, the tariffs going forward. And they are also a pass-through which means really we, we just a conduit uh, that sits in the middle. The impact on us is that we are currently designated as the sole procurer. In the current financial year that we're reporting, we have underspent to the tune of two billion. The real challenge that uh, the IPP present to us is uh, in perhaps in our inability to explain to the public this, this construct. That, for instance, when we go and uh, we get a tariff increase of, say, 5% from NASA, we are perhaps not so good in explaining that the 3% that we got was specifically dedicated to the IPPs, as I have indicated, that it's an advance payment. And then maybe we are, we are very much unable to explain that the 2% uh, in real terms is what we really got as an, as an increase. Because we are neutral. It should be neutral to us on the part that should go to the, to the IPPs. It would therefore be perhaps inappropriate to put all of ESCOM's ills and problems at the door of the IPPs. Even in relative terms, they are still a very small part of what, uh, uh, of what they are into, 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 into the grid. They do present a challenge for us as we, we go forward on how we have to meet uh, our own government's commitment uh, in some of the various COP uh, agreements of uh, reducing uh, our own contribution to, to greenhouse gas emissions. So it, 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 it also has to be informed by the fact that in doing that, the United Nations commit to just transition. So the point really is uh, uh, we, we should be looking at various ways, and it would be inappropriate for me to start th uh, sharing where our headspace is at in the whole question of uh, system operations. So really, uh, the, 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 the IPPs are a policy decision that the government has taken, and really ours is to execute and implement that government policy. And also, they, they are a pass-through. They are, they are, they are cost-neutral to us. But uh, yeah, uh, we, 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 we do have to revisit our entire uh, model as, 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 as COP. Uh, not only on uh, not IPP. There are all aspects of ESCOM's uh, balance sheet and income statement need to be revisited. <laughs> That's the point I'm busy trying to re 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 restate over and over again. So to look at just one point and uh, blame it for all our ills is uh, perhaps, uh, yeah, uh, it's like uh, you touch your head, you feel pain, you touch your toe, you feel pain, you touch your knees, you feel pain. You think your whole body is in pain when it's your finger that is in pain. So we, we, the, the, the whole body needs to be looked